sky oh that thing's got got things underway already this site I mean you can't really you know if I sit there I can kind of eh, you know but at least you can see blue sky you can see kind of a mountain you walk over here you can get a bit of a view and stuff that uh, Rocky Forks hiker that's yeah I've seen a few sites like that but, uh, you know, like, really the only functioning part is just uh, a spot for a tent. There's a, a little fire pit and there's a stump. That's, I've seen a couple like that. Like Sal the Min Hiker, for instance. But, uh, yeah, this one's a little better. Water source is close and it's better. Well, that's nice. I'm starting to concern about my body. After today, I have the option of going back. So tomorrow I could go up Rocky Pass, get out of here, make it a five day backpack. I don't know, the knees, the back, all that stuff. I mean, everything's settling into it, right? Like all the, uh, you know, the fatigue and stuff is starting to settle into those areas. And uh, yeah, I mean, I remember the North Boundary Trail now a bit, but you know, you almost remember you know, you have that, you know, they talk about how people have their first child and it's hell and they don't get any sleep and all that. And three or four years later, they've forgotten about that. Then they have another kid. I feel like the North Boundary Trail has the same, you know, a long distance, you know, I had a bit of that same effect. I forget the toil and the constant fatigue and how hard it was. And I remember all the great stuff about it. So, yeah. Now I'm starting to remember, and I have the option of going back. It's almost like a terrible thing, right? So I have to, you know, tonight I have to think about it for real. When I'm back at uh, Medicine Tent, I have to give it real thought and decide tomorrow, am I carrying on or am I going back? One thing about this water source is it does smell like sulfur right now. You know, and all the, uh, the rocks are all like dirty. That's never a real good sign for uh, water. That's why I went down to the river last night and grabbed all my liters, three liters of water from our breakfast this morning. Eh, this will do for washing stuff though. Well, no matter what's going on, it's an absolutely beautiful day for a hike. A good old backpack and uh, yeah. I have 19 kilometers to go today. Long day. Hop tour. Such a gorgeous day. Oh. Beautiful. Well, I'm just gonna start taking naps. I mean, it's a nice day. The ground isn't all wet and nasty, but this bug net is the only way to do that, all right? Otherwise you just can't, you can't take a real rest. You're just being hounded, so. And this is the best way I can think of to do whatever I can to preserve my body for what I'm hoping to do for the next 12 days. So just take a lot of naps. I've seen a lot of bear scat, but I mean, whoa. Still wet. Hey bear! Woo I've been yelling like crazy and now I'm pretty happy I have because, geez, this bear could be 100 meters away. I'm sure he's heard me, but like that was, it hasn't been raining. So I know that that is, that wet is pretty recent. Well, I yelled and yelled and yelled and no more signs of bear. 
Well, that's good. And now I'm at Rocky Falls. I know this is, I know now, this is the only viewpoint you get. There's supposed to be a trail off to the right. So I'm gonna head down and see what I can get. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a trail here. Super cool. Came back up to my pack. I don't want to leave it too long with uh, those very recent bear droppings. And I didn't want to take it down there, which is where I was standing before. So, all right, I'll find something here to sit on. Let me buy my pack, and this is the best break, lunch, whatever spot of the day. Huh. Absolutely outstanding. Just in this little draw now, and I get another shot of this guy. That's a beauty from this angle. This is awesome. All right. So I'm back here. Yesterday, for those of you who didn't watch, I came to this draw on the other side. I ended up going down there, and I bushwhacked for like a kilometer trying to get back. This is what the trail looks like. I'll find a tree that's had all its branches chopped. And I'm gonna give you, uh, I'll see if I can give you more clues, but I'm also gonna put in uh, the coordinates down in this description so you can just copy and paste. Okay, that's looking back down the trail again. More trees with stuff that's been chopped off. All right, now it's right into the rocks here. Okay, I had followed the, the blazes to these opposing tree blazes, and I mean the start of the trail is just over here. You come like this, and you look down there, it's just down there. Alright, here's a little something for reference. Came through here a couple of days ago, and there was a bunch of snow up there. There's still a little bit, but sure enough, it's gone. I thought, uh, I kind of figured that that snow had fallen the night before. I think I was right. Well, one down, one to go. I'm consistent, 3.30 again. This time I knew my way through it, but I also took more breaks, more naps, because I know I still got another nine kilometers left. It's funny, from the Rocky Horse Hiker Campground, it's one kilometer to the second intersection, and the one everyone should use, frankly, to head over across Medicine Tent River and to Rocky Force, Rocky Horse, oh God, Rocky Forks Horse Campground and Rocky Forks Cabin, and from there onto the South Esk Lake Trail. So it's one kilometer. There's more deadfall on this one kilometer than there was all the way from the hiker campground all the way to the Rocky River crossing. Like for some reason, there just wasn't much deadfall there. It's weird. And in this one kilometer, I've stepped around and over all kinds of crap. Now I'm past the horse intersection back there and I see a lot more of this, all right? Astoria Outfitters comes through and uses this trail, so. When they have uh, 25 horses, they tend to clear things out of the way. So there's two little parts where the hiker and horse trails, there's a split. The one is off to Rocky Forks uh, Horse Campground and Warden Cabin, but there's one just after Medicine Tent. And if I had remembered uh, what a pain in the butt the hiker one was, maybe I would have gone down the horse one. You never know. You know, the hiker one, there's one part you have to take off. I put that on video a couple of days ago. You have to take off your shoes anyways. So that's one. So you have two on the horse side for sure. Um, the willows are pretty bad in some places, like as bad as anywhere I've seen. And 
the Medicine Tent River invades a few times and makes for, you know, you have to do some kind of crappy, like some willow bashing to get through it. And it's a little hard to keep the trail. I actually lost the trail, like five, you know, maybe only five, 10 minutes, but yeah, I had to go find it again, so. Uh, yeah, and then even when it gets flat, it gets muddy and boggy sometimes. So it's, maybe try that horse side, who knows, could be better. That is a welcome sight. My food is fine. It's even tied up the same crappy way the way I did it. So I know no one's been in there. Oh, what a long day. Happy to be back. Not to mention happy to be back at a real campground. Sweet. I was gone for two nights. I'm starting to think that somebody was here, actually. I think this stuff's new. I think those two cans were in the middle there. Cool. I got company. First time I've seen anyone. Four days. Well, those guys got here late, and I got here late. And I mean, it was 10 after 9, and they hadn't even finished setting up their stuff yet, so... Didn't even get to really chat with them. It's like, well, I gotta set up everything in my tent still, and so not much, uh, not much ammo to combat loneliness. I don't really I didn't really get to talk to them much. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a coffee or something if they're still around when I rouse. Well, I figure there's probably like an eighty percent chance I'm gonna carry on a the grass tomorrow, but yeah, I need to at least consider heading back judging by how my body feels and that sort of thing. But uh, really, I'm probably just gonna keep going. But yeah, I need to at least toss it around a little bit in my head. Good night.